Green friends, welcome to the Star Wars Unlimited channel. Today we're looking at the Bolt X Large Binder. And you can see here inside it, we have 50 side loaders. I'm going to unbox them in this video. I'm going to tell you my review and whether this is a good storage solution for your Star Wars Unlimited cards. All right, let's get into it. So if you're like me and you find yourself with lots and lots of Star Wars Unlimited cards, then you need to figure out where you want to store them or how you want to categorize them. Today we're talking about the side loader. So this is a nine pocket page binder. This was like 22 bucks. So 50, 50 of these side loaders, nine pockets, it's supposed to be double sided. So my calculations, 50 times nine, this should hold 450 cards. So where are you gonna put this to hold 450 cards? Well, this is from Vault X. So this is a review on the Vault X stuff. And I also have the Voltex large folder. Um, I'll put it in front of me here, but the green screen will... <laughs> it's not actually green, it's more like a, a blue, but you can see there you can't really see it because of my green screen. So this folder has a massive ring binder. The whole folder is like a soft fabric. It feels very nice. The ring binder feels very solid um, and durable. I guess I can come back to it after I've used it for about a year and see if it's durable. But let's look at these pocket pages, because that's what I bought. So the folder was about 30 or 40, and it said that the large folder would take 50 of these. So all in all, this storage solution, I'm just going to get a knife to open this one second. Um, this storage solution will be, I guess, about 50 bucks, maybe 45 bucks, maybe 45 UK, probably about 55, 60 US. So yes. You will get 50 of these pages. Each page will take nine cards. They're double-sided. Let's put some cards in and just see. Um, basically, see how... Which way up does it go? Oh, the cards go in on the side. I thought they might go in on top. Okay, so you can put cards in on the side like this. There's actually quite a lot of room there. You could get two. You could get three. Um... Four, five, six. Maybe once you get beyond, let's put six on the other side as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't think it would be able to hold this many, to be honest. So if we put six on the other side. Sorry about the beeps. I should have put my phone on silent before I started filming. God damn it. Okay, so six on each side is doable. It feels quite chunky. But I think you probably get away, you could, like if you're, you're trying to make a collection, yeah, I think six on each side is a little bit too many. But I think if you put three on each side, you would be absolutely fine here. Six, it, I mean, it works with six. It can be absolutely fine with three. So if you're trying to collect three of every type of card to make your collection, then there's three on that side. Get them in. Uh, there's three on that side. Yeah, that feels like there's loads of space. I mean, they're not three on each side. It might be a tiny bit difficult to get them out, but I don't think that's a problem at all. Uh, so three on each side. Let's put one of the things into the folder. Let's have a look at that. If I can manage that, I'm sure I can. There we go. So what, should we just put in all 50 pages to see what it looks like with all 50 in? Uh, well, we can put on a, a bunch and see how we get on. God, God. You, you don't get a text message all morning, and then when you start filming, it's text message after text message after text message, is it? So, I'm just going to put in like 10 of these right now. Okay, so there's 10 in. 3. And then when we close it up and look at the... Look at the binder this way. See through it? Not really. Yeah, you can see through it that side. Loads of space inside there. So this is a very significant binder. Let me fill it up and give you a final verdict. So here is the folder. I put some things in here so I can categorize better, but here's what it looks like with all 50 in. Here's what a page looks like with a bunch of cards. I've been putting in spare ones so I can categorize shinies. Here's all your lands. Um, 
think this is a very nice way to store your Star Wars Unlimited cards. It's an expensive way, because it will be 50 bucks. But the folder is nice. If for the different series, we could actually write on this folder like it's the Series 1 release, because we know that there's a second wave of cards coming. Which will get expensive, 50 bucks per wave of cards, but um, vault -X, I like it. I think it's going to be a pretty decent storage solution. It's going to let me find cards easily. Um, I'm going to alphabetical eyes all my cards within this. You can see that I've already started doing that. And I actually made a spreadsheet, which I'll link up above right now to the video to tell you how to do that. So there's a spreadsheet where you can store all your cards. This folder will 100%. There's actually three of all these leaders in each of these, uh, where I have three. So. It, it, it fits very nicely, the pages seem very decent. Uh, I've had absolutely no problems with it. With it. I reckon I can recommend this um, as, an exp as a good but expensive storage solution. So, thank you so much for watching. This has been the Unlimited Power Channel. Uh, we are here every week with loads of Star Wars Unlimited content. We started doing live battles on the channel as well, so please check us out, consider subscribing, leave a like on the video, and uh, click down below to look at all our other content because there's loads of it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you the next one. Peace.